Hey guys, this is Andrew from Viotics. I decided to make a comparison video on the two Hot Wheels Batman Arkham Asylum Batmobiles. So, um, this uh, Batmobile was featured in the Arkham Asylum game back in 2009, I believe. I, I don't even know when the release date was anymore. But, um, this was a very brief appearance in the game, but it's otherwise a pretty cool design. So let's look at the original first. So uh, it's got the Batman Arkham Asylum logo on the top left. And um, this was from 2011. So uh, this one has a um, metal base, plastic body. It's got five spoke rims. Um, the back has painted uh, tail lights and it has a rocket turbine thing uh, for the exhaust. The front does uh, have uh, headlights but they look like uh, stickers or tampos. Uh, they don't look painted on like the headlights. Um, I have no complaints really about this car. It just looks pretty neat. Um, blue windows. Uh, it's got a window on the top and a window around the canopy. And then it's got all the chrome stuff right in there. It just looks like a pretty cool car. So that was the original release. Oh yeah, it was as well. The motor is exposed. So that was the original release. Now let's take a look at the new 2013. Um, it is a plastic base metal body now. Uh, different rims. As you can see, it has a, has a five spoke. Some kind of five spoke. I don't know what the names are of them. They have a like a metallic blue um, metal coating around the tire. It just looks badass. I love it. Uh, the engine is still exposed. It's chrome, but uh, this part in here that is now a dark gray. The headlights have changed. Uh, before it was just the three dots. Now it is the three dots and the actual. Uh, headlight holder thing, I don't know what it's called. And um, on the back, tail lights are much more prominent compared to the other one. So, it's got the Bat logo in the top left. It does not have the Arkham Asylum logo, but it is known as Batman Arkham Asylum Batmobile still. <coughs> Sorry about that. But yeah, I like this one a lot more. Just because of the overall look, I like the gloss black uh, paint finish they gave it. The wheels just look immaculate compared to the original release. I Don't get me wrong, this is a good car. But this one blew it away with the wheels, the overall appearance of the car, the improvements they made. And it's just, just a great car. So I'm going to be reviewing the um, 1989 original release and the 2013 release next. So stay tuned guys and bye for now.